watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. So I bought this cargo van that I plan on turning into a camp out bug out vehicle. So I can bug out with my motorcycle. You are watching my bug out van build series. Hey be sure to check out my bug out van build series. Video links are in the description section of this video. Hey folks, just giving you a little update here. I did add three additional cameras to my bug out van. Hey, call me the cameraman. Because as you guys know, I have four cameras on my CBR 1000 double R. But the reason why I added the additional cameras to this van is so that when I'm inside, I can flip out the TV and see everything that's going on around the van. I'm also utilizing the rear view camera or the backup camera that I already had installed on the van. So I integrated that in this surveillance system. So today I'm going to show you the processor that I'm going to set up and the location where I'm going to put the processor. And we'll show you the results of all four cameras around the vehicle. But I'm not going to show you the cameras outside the vehicle or the type of camera that I use for security purposes. I'm sure you understand. Here is the quad video processor that I picked off of Amazon for real cheap and I'll include a link to where you can get one in the description and comment section of this video. You can connect up to four cameras. However, this does not have direct RCA inputs. You will have to buy RCA to BNC adapter connectors and that's what these are. I'll include a link to where you can get those as well. They're very inexpensive. It also comes with a remote control, which I won't be using. I will be installing a switch instead. But what you will need to purchase is a 12 volt adapter plug so that you can connect it to your battery. As far as power wire for my processor and video cameras, believe it or not, I use the same speaker wire that I use for my stereo system. This stuff is fairly inexpensive. It's 16 gauge of oxygen free copper wire. And what I love about it for outdoor use is it has that outer jacket that protects the wires. Now if I have any problems with this, I'll let you guys know. I can always rewire it if it doesn't work out, so it's not a big deal. I already installed the camera, so I'm going to run a little test with this processor before I install it. As you guys see, it works perfectly. No problems whatsoever. And as you guys can see, I use backup cameras. $20 backup cameras. That's right, guys. Really cheap, but effective. I'm not going to tell you the exact ones that I use for security purposes, nor am I going to show you the locations on the van and what it looks like on the van for security purposes. Now for the installation. The processor came with no way of mounting it, so I had to actually use leftover brackets that I had. All I did was unscrew those screws and screw the brackets in. Worked out absolutely perfect. I mounted my processor underneath my counter so that way it's nice and hidden. I also mounted an on off switch for the processor. As you see that top switch is for a new water pump that I installed which you'll see in a future video. Okay let's drop the bed, pull out the TV and see if my setup works properly. By the way I changed the location of my HD TV antenna so it's out of the way. Okay let's flip the switch and see if it works. Bam! As you see, it works pretty good, but I'll tell you one thing with the overhead LED lights on and put some static in the picture. But when I cut the LED lights off, the static is gone. As you see, the picture quality is clear. Uh, the rear view camera has actually the best video quality, but it does have infrared lights as where the others don't. But I don't need it to be perfect. Really, I just want to detect movement and see what the fuck's going on outside my van. Hey, stay tuned for future Bug Out Van build videos such as this new water pump that I installed with a switch so it's nice and convenient. Also stay tuned for other videos such as my installation of my Dometic refrigerator and 600 watt microwave along with my 1300 watt induction burner. Yep, no more worrying about burning my bug out van down with a butane stove. And also upgraded to a 2000 watt pure sign inverter. And also want to show you my new compact table that I can use for our office table that folds away and fits underneath my sink counter. And also stay tuned for my portable compact shower video. And I can show you how you can wash up on the road. I even have a hot water heater that I'm going to show you. As always, links to all items shown in this video are located in the description and comment section of this video. Thank you for watching. And until next time, 
I'll catch you guys later. Deuces! Welcome to Psycho Cruises Click the Go links. Just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites. Also, don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com. If you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you and subscribe today. Check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.